Uh, hello, Jenna Crew Gang. Um, wait, first let me grab my orange juice. And then I'll come back. Orange juice. Thank God this doesn't this doesn't cost me any time. Um, here's the orange juice, and here are my cigarettes. Um, so, boobies, so, um, do I ever feel ashamed of my gender identity? Um, no, I don't know, I don't feel ashamed of my gender identity. I do still feel confused. Sometimes about my gender identity because I'm still not quite, not quite sure what it is, and that is confusing. But it's not really something I'm ashamed of. I mean, why would you be ashamed of who you are, right? Um, there are a lot of other things that I'm way more ashamed of than my gender identity, so I do not feel any guilty. Well, I fir at first I did feel a little bit guilty because of what I would do to the people surrounding me and about my family and stuff. Like, I felt a little bit of guilt because of that. But, um, my God, I'm shaking, I'm trembling, I don't know why that is. But no, I do not feel ashamed um, of my gender identity at all. So that was a quick answer for that question. Um, the second part of the question was, what was the second part of the question? Oh yes, do you find it, e what was it, easy or difficult to accept your gender identity? No. Um, at first when I came out as a trans man, transgender, transsexual, I it happened all really quick. I just, I heard stories and I thought about my own history, going through puberty and all that stuff. And I, I, I was really interested in other people who had thoughts about transitioning. And, um, well, I recognized a lot of myself in their stories and what I saw on YouTube on the television, on the internet, you know, what I heard from others, and I knew that something was wrong with me, and I thought, hey, this could be something for me, and then I started thinking about it, and I went to a gender clinic, and at first it all happened really quick, and I was like, oh my god, that's me, I need to do something about this, but now, later on in my transition, and with everything that's been going on, shift in my, shift in my gender identity, stopping hormone therapy, do I or do I not want chest surgery or hysterectomy if I have a chest surgery? Will it be this or will it be that? And um, what am I, like I said in, my, in, in the last question, you know, prior to this one, part one. Um, I still, I think, I, I still don't really fully accept myself. Because I'm still not quite sure what there is to accept. And I recognize a lot in... Um, I don't remember his name. He's on the channel too. His story about, am I doing the right thing? Is still something that's been going through my mind. Am I doing the right thing? Was it the right thing for me to start hormones? Um, am I truly... Do I have gender dysphoria? Am I really trans? All those kinds of things. Um, those are things that are still questions that still go through my mind because I don't really have a lot of body dysphoria. 
anymore and I used to have that and I think I had a lot more dysphoria than I actually I said I had a lot more dysphoria than I actually had because I thought there was only one way to transition and I think I never really accepted myself as a trans man and now as a gender queer person I still find it pretty hard to accept myself because I'm not quite sure yet how I feel and how I identify and what is right for me in my transition. And you should never regret things that you once really wanted. It's a phrase I've heard a lot of times before and I agree on that, but transitioning is hard. Not knowing what you are and who you are is hard. And I think everyone in their 20s goes through this stage, this phase, even like when you're a young, yeah, you know, young adult or in your 30s, I still, I think people still question who they are and their identity. But you know, when you think about not fully, not identifying with your biological sex, is a harder way to, it's harder to like have struggles with your identity, of course. And I think it's just, it's really hard to accept myself. And I, re I really want to, I really want to, and I hope that going to therapy will make me accept myself a little bit more. Accept this fact that I have a female body but I do not really identify as a female. I don't know how females identify, actually. That is also something I think about a lot. I mean, do people that don't go to, through transition or don't question their gender, do they know, do they actually have a feeling about their own gender? like? Does a man know that he's a man, and does a woman know that she's a woman? You know. Do people, do cisgender people actually take a moment and think about that? Or is that just something that, I don't know. I don't know, it's so hard. But no, I don't fully accept, accept myself yet. I think I have a long way to go of accepting my gender identity, who I am, and stuff. Because it's not easy. It's most definitely not easy to, to accept yourself. <coughs> and then my phone did blur blur, and now it switched a little bit high. But, um, yeah. No, I don't accept myself yet. Um, I still sometimes struggle with the idea of did I did I do? Can you see? By the way, like did I do the right thing? Because I'm always so self-conscious and stuff. And this is also a really rambly video, so I understand if this isn't really interesting for you. But you know, I try to do the best that I can, and it's I always I always make these videos when I wake up. I'm, I'm, I usually always make these videos when I wake up, and um, so no, it wasn't easy accepting myself. And the proof of that is that I'm now transitioning for like two and a half years, maybe three, almost ish. And I still haven't accepted myself because there, because people are constantly changing. I constantly change my point of views, constantly change my body dysphoria, change my social dysphoria changes, my physical dysphoria changes, my mental dysphoria changes, and it's so fluid that I don't really, I can't really accept myself yet, and that sucks a lot, and. I think people on the gender queer gang can agree with me on that. So yeah, that, that's what that was this video, and now I'm going to drink my orange juice and then go to the library because I have to print something and think about my school and my education. And there's a lot of things in my mind. 
it's a big mess in my mind <laughs> at the moment. And I will see you guys, girls, and everything in between next week. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye.